Hi folks, and welcome to another episode of Tableau in 2 Minutes. Today we're going to be covering how you can create a histogram in Tableau. Uh, that is going to show us the uh, distribution of items based on a, uh, a measure. So since we're using a measure and we want to uh, have columns rather than uh, a line or a scatter plot, we need to create bins. So let's go ahead and use the city mile per gallon field to do that. To create bins, you just click on the down arrow, go to create, and then bins. Once you open up this, you can name the new field, you can set a size for the bins, and you have in here the uh, the range of values, the difference, and the number of values. Uh, and you can use the suggested bin size as well. Tableau will come up with a recommendation for the size of the bins that you want to use. Uh, I like round numbers, so instead of 3.56, we're going to go ahead and use 5 for the size of our bins. Do that, click OK. And then we get a new dimension up here uh, that is a bin, you can see from the little histogram thing. Uh, and we're going to drag that across to the column shelf. Now what we see on the column shelf is the lower limit for each of the bins. So this is really 10 to 14.99999999. Uh, this is 15 to 19.99999, etc, 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 all the way across. So just worth remembering that the label, the default label, is the bottom of the bin. Now, there's a couple of ways we can get our columns. We could do a, a count distinct or a count of the ID. That is, a, the ID is an individual number in this data set that represents each car. Or we can use the number of record shelf and just drag the number of record shelf out into the rows. And that will show us the number of records, which is like the number of lines in uh, the database that fall into each of these bins. And there you can see we've created a very basic histogram. The real key is that in order to create a histogram, you have to both count the items that fall within each bin, and you have to create the bins based on a measure. One of the caveats to creating bins based on a measure is that you can't create bins based on an aggregated measure. With an aggregated measure, right, we'd have one bin, one uh, number that represents the whole database because we'd already have aggregated everything. It'd be either the average or the sum or something like that. We can't create bins based on that because it's a single number, so we need um, a row level calculation or we need to use a raw number that came through in the original data set. So, that does it for this episode of Tableau in 2 Minutes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. As always, there's a link to the workbook and the data set in the video description. If you like what you saw, then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time.